Hello, this is Rahul from Learning Simplified. In this video, we are going to look at overflow. So let's get started. So let us see how an overflow occurs while performing an arithmetic operation in a computer. And how can we detect whether there is an overflow or not? So let us consider an addition of two numbers. First of all, in this video, we will look at uh, overflow in uh, unsigned arithmetic. While performing addition of unsigned numbers, in unsigned numbers, we only have positive numbers. So let us consider two numbers. One is seven plus seven. How do we represent seven in three bit binary number? In three bit binary number, we can represent seven as one, one, one plus one 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 now let us perform an addition one plus one is zero we carry a one forward one plus one plus one is one we carry a one forward one plus one plus one is one and we carry a one forward we have a one here but 7 plus 7 is 14. What did we get the result as? This is 4, this is 2 and this is 0. 4 plus 2 is 6. But we want 14 but we are getting 6. If we add, if we append this one here, if we write a 1, then this is the correct result. This is 8, this is 4, 2. 8 plus 4 is 12, 12 plus 4, 12 plus 2 is 14. We are getting the result. So what we have to remember in unsigned arithmetic is if we have a carry from the most significant bit position, then an overflow has occurred. You might ask me, wh why do we need to consider this overflow? We can simply write this one here. But this is possible only on pen, only using pen and paper. All right, this is possible using only pen and paper. But in computer, the memory is fixed. The registers in the ALU are fixed and all operations are performed on the registers. Suppose we have a three bit register, three bit register in a processor, three bit register, we add these uh, we add the numbers in these two registers and uh, we, we consider the same example 7 is 1 1 1 1 1 1 and we get uh, the result in a uh, third register this is a third register of the same size which is 3 we get the result here these two are operands operand registers and this is a result register where the result is result will be stored after the app operation and 1 plus 1 is 0 and 1 is carried forward 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1 and 1 is carried forward 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 1 and where do we get the other one and 1 should be here but computer can't do that. So it has to detect whether an overflow has occurred and take the appropriate measures so that uh, the correct operation is performed. And that is the responsibility of uh, operating system or compiler. So that is why detection of overflow is necessary. Now let us consider few more examples. Few more examples. Let us uh, add 14 and 14 and 2. What is the result? 16. We can write 14 in 4 bit binary number as 1, 1, 1, 0. This is 14 because 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 8 is 14. We can write 2 in 4 bit uh, representation as 0, 0, 1, 0. Now we add these two numbers, 0 plus 0 
is 0 1 plus 1 is 0 we carry a 1 forward 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 0 we carry a 1 forward 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 1 is 0 we carry a 1 forward this is an overflow this is an overflow bit because we are we have a carry out of from the msb of msb column now let us consider another example i'm telling as many examples as possible so that you can get familiar with what overflow is um, consider let's say 13 plus 13 plus 6 13 plus 6 is 19 we can write 13 in binary format as this is 14 we already know what we have to do is we have to subtract minus 1 from this how we can do that we write the first one first two ones as it is this is 2 so we write a 0 here and a 1 here and 6 we can represent 6 as 0 1 1 0 now the addition is 1 1 1 plus 1 is 0 we carry a 1 0 plus 1 is 1 and 1 plus 1 is 0 we carry a 1 an overflow has occurred here too let us observe one thing in these two additions we have consider we have considered a 4 bit number right 4 bit number in this and this situation what is the range of a 4 bit number in unsigned representation it is 0 to 2 power n minus 1 in 4 bit it is 0 to 2 power 4 minus 1 that is 0 to 15 with the, with the help of 4 bits we can represent the numbers only in this range 0 through 15 but we can look at here 14 plus 2 is 16 this is outside the range of this number and 13 plus 6 is 19 this is also outside the range of this number so in order to represent these numbers we need one more bit that is we need a 5 bit register to store these numbers 16 and 19 which are outside the range so remember this note in unsigned integers remember this is only for unsigned integers in the next video we will look at the overflow in signed integers signed numbers note is in unsigned integers unsigned integers that is positive numbers if we have a carry carry out from the MSB carry out from the MSB as one then we say that an overflow has occurred overflow has occurred okay if we have a one as a carry out from the msp then we it is said to uh, an overflow is said to have occurred what if we have no one no one only zero is uh, zero is a carry out from the msp suppose we have um, seven plus four seven plus four is eleven seven can be represented in three bit binary number as one 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 four can be represented as one zero zero now 
in 3 bit. Uh, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 0, we carry 1 forward because we cannot represent 11 using 3 bits. We need 4 bits to represent 11. Now let us see another example. 6 plus 1, 7. 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. We don't have a carry here. We can assume the carry as 0. When we have a carry 0, then no overflow is said to have occurred. Because 7 is the number within the range of 3 bit binary numbers. We can represent 7 with 3 bits. So that's all for this video guys. I hope you have enjoyed this session. See you next time. Until then, happy learning.